No, no, Lassie, as I said, EXPLODED! It's hazardous to your health. Exactly as I planned. Ho oh, ho! EXPLODED! It's a blessing and a curse at times, mistress. Well, good afternoon to all Minecraft veterans, North Carolinians, ladies and gentlebugs, everybody alike. Hope you all having a real good day today. It's me, your favorite netherite cyborg, Poggy, and welcome back to... Man, what, what episode is this? Not that my cyber guy just blew it. Okay, up until now. 30! Okay, oh yeah. To episode 30 of North Carolina in Minecraft Season 2. And this time, we're doing it. The battle against the Ender Dragon. Oh yes, I have. Let's just look in that ender chest outside, which will have the exact same items that I'm gonna use on the stronghold. Lots of TNT, totems of undying, ender pearls, which I got plenty of, and of course, eyes of ender to light up the portal, and plenty of these as well to ensure my survival. A little repair on my trident won't hurt a fly before we go. Oh, no need to worry about my levels. Those can come back fairly quickly. Oh, and we don't need that many arrows, I believe. Dublin, Lauren, I have something to tell both of you. Today is the day I go fight the Ender Dragon. I may not make it back alive, but if that does happen, let Jackson know in heaven. I'm sorry for what I did to him episodes ago. And I will honor his spirit by taking the dragon's life. If I do make it back, we shall celebrate! First, we'll be needing these rather quicker than expected. We don't need that out anymore. Let's replace it with this. Because if we do get launched by the Ender Dragon back into the atmosphere of the end, then we need a way to survive falling damage besides a bucket of water. Besides, like I said, my water bucket tech speed is a little rusty. Time to let one of many final adventures begin. Off we go. Back to where we were about to finish things. Where we started. Huzzah! It is open. Now then, to dispose of these, because we do not need them anymore. Now then, let us store some of these items for later use. Gonna need some extra ender pearls. Milk and lava won't be helpful in this situation. A potion of strength. A potion of strength. A potion of strength. of each. 
And I won't forget that there are a few things that I also must bring. TNT. Plenty of it. Alright then. And also golden apples. And I'll try to get some dragon's breath. Oh, let's not forget about our bridge, that's a necessity. Now then, let's drink the potion. It's the best. Alright, here we go. Into the end we go. Please, be on blocks of obsidian. I beg of you, do not send me into the void. My heart's racing. I just jumped into the... Please don't. <sighs> We're on a safe spot. Good. This means we don't have to build far. But we still should, just to be cautious. A short bridge, but it's definitely necessary. Now then, let our plan begin. The battle has begun. Just need to get up there without being seen. And that's not an issue. There it is. The first end crystal that we're gonna take out with perfectly placed arrows. One down, several to go. We meet at last, Ender Dragon. Or for the second time. Don't worry, I don't intend to mess with the enemy. Maybe I should have brought more arrows. Good thing I got some buckets of water. Just in case. Miss Dragon, I believe your crystals are all better off, in my personal opinion. Exploding! And so that way, it's better for your health. No, no, Lassie, as I said. Exploding! is hazardous to your health. Exactly as I planned. Shall I repeat myself, Lassie? Exploding! Is hazardous to your health. Goodbye now. And I live. I'm just shooting! Oh, you got a problem with them snipers. <laughs> I don't mind personally. Ho oh, ho, exploding! Is a blessing and a curse at times, mistress. I promise you that. Ooh, with these survival instincts, somebody stop me! What's the intake from this lesson? Exploding! Is a blessing and a curse at times. <laughs> this is your last crystal, milady. Soon enough, I'll make sure that you quit smoking! Ah, I think you must remember never to start burning. <laughs> Enderman, why are you attacking me? I'm helping y'all. Come on, don't be so angry now. I'm just defeating the one that keeps you trapped here. Oh, I have an idea. Next time when the dragon comes back around, I'm gonna blow it up with TNT. Just gotta wait for the right time. Get out of there as quick as I can as soon as I detonate it. But it's just circling around, waiting for another crystal. Too bad, they're all gone. Now then, the real fight can begin. Uh, 
Ah, the plan. The plan. Go! <laughs> Do it now! Ah, uh, y'all, my microphone just turned off in the midst of the fight, but don't worry. Everything's fine. Everything's calm. Just gotta wait for the Ender Dragon to get back down, and I'll keep attacking. There you go, Ender Dragon. You are finally back down. Besides, no one likes a scary cat. <laughs> now that's a bitch. And we're gonna wait again until there's another fireball being shot at me. So, yeah, I'm gonna move out of the way before I suddenly get shot down. There you go. The way I like it. Come on, get closer. There you go. Cheesy, I get it. But, one would say it's better to fight closer range rather than far away. Because you know you will miss almost every shot unless you haven't tried it with loyalty. Oh, coming back again for more, huh? Somebody stop me! <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to deal that much damage to the warden with one attempt, but I sure know this will be the dragon's last breath. Indeed. I'll try using my trident this time around, as if I lose it, it'll just come right back to me. That's why I flipped it, I repaired it. It's solid ground, and it comes right back. No changes. <laughs> Hit an obsidian tower, it comes right back. For real, Enderman! Back you come. Oh, missed there. But these hits will not miss. And back you are. Let's finish this thing off. A little bit closer. Oh, 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 we have achieved victory for Jacksonville, North Carolina. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody stop me. <laughs> oh, in victory, I'll just be smoking. Dragon egg? You're coming with me, and I know just how to obtain you, if I can find you. And there you are. Dragon eggs are affected by gravity, and we can do this, and huzzah, it's ours now, the next generation. <laughs> and now we also have an in-city portal over there, but we'll deal with that in future episodes. Yes, that's right. This episode is not the finale, so we still got more adventures to do. We still need to find every biome, explore more updates, kill the warden, explore an ancient city, and do so much more. And now, back we go! There we go. We have beaten almost every enemy in the game. I see the player you mean. The King Puck Gaming? Well, that was my name formerly, now I'm just Puggy. Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. That thinks we are a part of the game. That I know you are. I like this player. He played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as they were words on a screen. They sure are, my friends. That is how it chooses to imagine many things. When it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read. Back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamt of sunlight and trees, of fire and water, it dreamed and created, and it dreamed it destroyed, it dreamed it hunted and was hunted, it dreamed of shelter. <laughs> The original interface, a million years old, and it still works. What true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt the true world in the find of the what? It created a what for the what? In the what? It cannot read that thought. No, it has not yet achieved the highest level. That it must achieve in a long dream of life, not the short dream of a game. 
Does it know that we love it? That the universe is kind? Sometimes, through the noises of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. But there are times it is sad, in the long dream. It creates worlds that have no summer. It shivers under a black sun, and it takes its sad creation for reality. To cure it of sorrow would destroy it. That sorrow is part of its own private task, we cannot interfere. Sometimes, when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them they are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them of their importance to the universe. Sometimes when they have not made a true connection in a, wor in a while, I want to help them speak to the, w the word they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them this world you take for truth is merely what and what. I wish to tell them that they what are what in the what. This seems so little of reality in their long dream, and yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them, too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them from living. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in a cage of worlds, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes, player, use its name. The King Puck Gaming, player of games. Good. Take a breath now. Take another. Feel air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes. Move your fingers. Have a body again. Under gravity, in air, respond in the long dream. There you are. Your body touching the universe again at every point. As though you were separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain. Father Sun, Mother Moon, Ancestra, Spirits, Animal Spirits, Jin, Ghosts, The Green Man, the gods, demons, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks, the world change, we do not change, we are the universe, we are everything you think isn't you, you are looking at us now, through your skin and your eyes. Hmm, this is quite the long story, but should I read all of it though? No, I'm pretty sure y'all can read it for me, but I wouldn't do that, I, I am not that much of an awful person to make you do that. I let you read it at your own pace, or you can skip it entirely. That's your decision, not mine. It's time that the story is in. <sighs> A lovely story. Someone say? Never seen in a lifetime. Took a lot of thought. I am the player, the story, the program, the human, made from nothing but milk and love. Further back, the seven billion 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 atoms of the player's body are created, long before this game, in the heart of a star. So the player too is information from a star. And the player moves through a story, which is just a forest of information planted by a man called Julian on a flat, infinite world created by a man called Marcus that exists inside a small, private world created by the player, who inhabits a universe created by... Shh! <laughs> it's called Planets and Stars. Yes. Precisely as I learned throughout the years. The player reading words, yes. Lines of code on a screen, decoded them into words. Sometimes I can do that, sometimes I can't. The player was alive, yes. I am alive, and always have been. The universe sure does say a lot of positive things about me. And I greatly appreciate it, even if I don't think I deserve those praises. But then again I do. For the things I've accomplished in life now, and what I have back then. Though I think those achievements as minor, the universe thinks otherwise. And I thank everyone in the universe for that. Whether we know each other or not, I simply am grateful for everything you've done for me and to help me out in life. The universe, y'all have never let me down. Hmm. So now, the long story told by two has finally ended, and we shall go back to Jacksonville, and, as I promised Lauren in Dublin, 
We shall celebrate! Lots of directors in these games. From normal Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons, and now we got Minecraft Legends. Now defunct Minecraft Story Mode. I don't know if anyone's ever forget gonna forget that those games because of the weather storm and other stuff like that. Yep, there's Minecraft Legends as I spoke of earlier. But now... There we go. Just gotta look through a little more credits, and then we're heading back to Jacksonville. And we shall have a party and remember Jacksonville's theme forever. There's a lot of this going on for the creation of Minecraft, so do I just have to click on here and I'll be back in the overworld? No, I guess I just have to wait it out. This is going to take a really long time to wait out. My mic might even shut off again. This may take a while, so please give me a moment while I entertain myself with some funny videos from my cell phone. Please, thank you. One hour later. <sighs> Almost one hour later. The credits finished up. And now, we shall return. Ugh. We're back. With the snap of fingers, we just returned to where it all had begun. To home. Jacksonville, North Carolina. We have returned. Alive. And stronger than ever. No, it doesn't change much. I knew it had to be done, I just didn't know if I had the strength to do it. My wolves, I have returned. And the victory was a success. Now then, Dublin and Lauren, we shall celebrate. And for the celebration for the two of you, I have a proposition in mind. Because you miss Sun so much, I will help you. You may son or daughter. It's all your decision. I wish I would have done the same soon enough, but I didn't have the strength to do it. But I know you two always will. As long as y'all are together. And never alone. Lauren and Dublin. Lovers united. And now... One pup's legacy ends, and a new one begins. And now, we celebrate our victory. Woohoo! Look at all the breaths we got. We're gonna beat the warden easily, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good day to be alive. We got new pups, Dublin, Lord, Dublin and Lauren are here still, and we beat the Ender Dragon with one try without dying a single time. Now that is fantastic. Now season one us, they couldn't keep us keep up with us at our record, that's for sure. Lauren, Dublin, little pup, I'll name you soon enough. I have to consult with your late brother. I'll be back. Jackson, my friend. It's been a year now, but I wish to honor your name. This egg at the top of your monument is for that honor. Or on top of your gravestone, that'll work too. Though I understand that I just share grief and my cost years ago. It didn't make me stop thinking about you till the very end. I'll always love you, Jackson. Even if you're gone. I did this for you. Not just for you. I did it for your family. And I'm thankful that even though you died episodes ago, you still stuck beside us. Till now. Twelve episodes later, up in the heavens above, you've watched Jacksonville evolve, grow, and us grow into the city that we are now, into the people that we are now. And I ever be grateful to having known you as one of my loyal 
Rest in peace, my friend. Your mother, your father, and now your sister will always remember your face. And so will I for episodes to come till the very end. No. Episode 30 has ended. Everybody, thank you for watching up to now. The series hasn't ended yet. Our final adventures are just beginning. Some people say we don't have the strength to do it. We shall continue to prove them otherwise. Poggy out.